This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the advantages and disadvantages of fossil fuels. Let's start by looking at the global energy usage by source. By looking at the chart, we can see that the majority of the world's energy usage comes from coal, natural gas and oil, which are all fossil fuels. The chart on the right shows the number of years remaining for coal, oil and gas. Coal has approximately 120 years remaining, oil 50 years and gas around the same. Therefore, a major disadvantage of fossil fuels is that they are a finite resource and may be exhausted in the foreseeable future. Next we look at the advantages and disadvantages of each fossil fuel, starting with coal. So the advantages are, coal is relatively inexpensive, Coal has a high specific energy and high energy density. It can be converted into liquid fuels and gases. And it's distributed throughout the world. Next, the disadvantages. As with all fossil fuels, coal is finite. When burned, coal produces carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas. Coal also produces sulfur dioxide when burned, which causes acid deposition. And finally, the mining of coal can cause environmental damage. Next, we look at the advantages and disadvantages of petroleum. So starting with the advantages, petroleum products are relatively inexpensive. They generally have high specific energies and energy densities. The next advantage is ease of transport in the case of gasoline. And they are used as feedstock for petrochemicals. Next, the disadvantages. As with all fossil fuels, crude oil is finite. When burned, petroleum products produce carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas. Drilling for and transporting crude oil can cause environmental damage. And finally, there is an uneven distribution worldwide. And finally, we look at the advantages and disadvantages of natural gas. So starting with the advantages, Natural gas is a relatively clean fuel. It has a higher specific energy than coal and oil. The next advantage is ease of transport. Natural gas can be transported in pressurized containers. And it does not contribute to acid deposition. Next, the disadvantages. As with all fossil fuels, natural gas is finite. When burned, natural gas produces carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas. It has a lower energy density than coal and oil. And it has an uneven distribution in the world. 